y'all. It's Midwest Mama E coming at you from Mid Missouri. I am just a 50 something lady with a lot of positive vibes. I like to promote a positive mind, positive life, just a general positive attitude. So I decided to start this because I've seen a lot of other people doing it, and I thought it looked fun. And I thought, surely, surely out there somewhere in this vast country, and maybe even the world, somebody might have something in common with me. Some people might think I'm a little weird, and they might be a little right, but if you like me, you might be a little weird too. Okay, so... I'm going to come at you with seven little categories each day. And I'm going to try to keep my video short, maybe seven minutes. We'll see how that turns out. And I want to start out everyone with a positive quote to start your day. And I may sound kind of animated. That's because I taught second grade for a hundred years. And I'm very good at reading to children. So I have a lot of expression. And I'm not really a boring person, so you might like me. Okay, so let's just start this out. Positive mind, positive vibe, positive life. You can find me on Twitter, and you'll find that on my homepage. You can also find me on Facebook. That's Midwest Mama E. Okay, so... Then we're just, I like to move into, I don't know if you feel the same about me, but I'm always looking for some way to feel better, to be healthy, to be uh, more fit. Um, what does your community have to offer, for example, for you to take a walk or um, ride your bike? Just move. Not, I'm not saying that you have to do air get that about me that's my daughter i'm not saying that you have to go lift weights and be a you know go to a competition but just keep your body moving okay so let me tell you what i did today today was the eclipse day right and we have three ymcas in my town which i belong to and all the classes were closed down just because of the eclipse them. Even my dance mix that comes on at seven comes at seven o'clock on a Monday night, canceled. Okay, so what did I do? Well, I went to one of the Y's about two hours before the eclipse. There was one other guy there for a half hour, and then it was me. I loved it. It has an indoor track. It has a stepper. It has a treadmill. It has a bike. It has all kinds of weight machines, and I just did my own little routine for about an hour and a half. So I feel really good about that, and I feel strong about myself. So, my question to you is, does your community have a YMCA? Some of them don't. Or some kind of fitness center, or even a park, or a school track, or some place that you could go, take a walk? 20 minute walk would do you so good. That's all I'll start with on that for now, but I really am into it. And as you can see, I'm a kind of a mess. I usually have my hair thick. Most, look at my profile picture. It looks kind of like that most of the time. I've been to the gym and I'm not sorry. Okay, now I'm also doing this on my front porch. I have some beautiful flowers. Sometimes I'll show, sometime I'll show them to you. And it's really fun to sit outside and do this. I hope it works out. And it, everybody I watch on Periscope and YouTube and Twitter. They always take a drink of something. We're in the middle, so hold on, let me have my tea. Promise, just tea today. Okay, moving on. I wanna ask you if you like, if any of you guys out there are DIYers. Do you like to do it yourself? Do you like art? Do you like to fix up your house? Do you like to fix up your furniture? Are you on a budget? Well, I like everything. I like all of that. And I should be on a budget. Well, not always, but I should be. So, I'm going to give you a couple of ideas 
these are really simple. I've got a whole lot in my house and in my garden and everywhere that I can show you. But we're going to start with something really simple, okay? Every once in a while, I like to go in the thrift store. Have you been to the thrift store? It's fun. Sometimes it's kind of stinky. But I usually know what areas to go in, and I'll go, okay? Go back and look, okay? I always go in the frames. So, one day, not too long ago, I went to my local thrift store, and I found this frame. Okay, it's really wood. I always, always buy wood. Okay, it was a dollar. So, I just painted it a little shabby, did, shabby chic did a little bit with my off-white. And it's sitting on a shelf, and in front of it is a little cute little bird. And I just wanted to show you how easy that is. Cost a dollar. Okay, here's another one. Do you ever go to flea markets? I do. I like Dillard's. I don't like Macy's. I like flea markets. I like thrift stop, shops. I go everywhere. I like home goods. But anyway, this is, this was an oil painting that I bought for $2. Two. Count them. Two dollars. <laughs> it's wooden. And it, the oil painting, I've already painted on top of that too, but I'm not going to show it to you. But I put this, same color as the other, I put this around a beautiful S that my daughters got for my last name that my daughters got me for my birth for Christmas. And I have this and an S and the S is made out of wood, but it's painted about this color and then it has a, you know a little outline. It's real pretty. It just sits inside it. Great idea. Dollar. Go get you some paint. You can get paint for less than three dollars. You can get a sample size at Lowe's or Home Depot or Menards for less than three dollars. And then, I'm telling you, you can paint a lot with that. So that's what I did. Okay, moving on. How many of you are moms or grandmas? Or you want to be or you will be? I tell you, my hats are off to you. I got two daughters. They grew up on me. I love them to death, though. They're grown. One's married. Got two kids. Lovely husband, fabulous guy, fabulous guy. There's hope, there's hope. The other one, oh, is just a wonderful girl and she has a fabulous boyfriend. I tell you what, she doesn't have any kids yet. My oldest one's an RN, my youngest one's a teacher. I'm saying I did pretty good. They're both health, healthy and happy. And um, I think they might even watch this video someday. I hope so. <laughs> we'll see. But anyway, I just wanted to introduce to you that I am a mom, a grandma, a step-grandma. Oh, they're cute too. Love, love, love. I've got nine to buy for at Christmas or make for. We'll get to that later. And I'm a retired teacher. I taught learning disabilities for 10, first for two, second grade, 22 and pre-k-5 so I've done it all all these kids now mostly I have to be related to them to take care of them but I really do enjoy that so the mom grandma teacher thing love 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 it okay next thing I want to talk about just real quick is friends it's so important to have friends you have friends you have a lot of friends you have a group of friends you have three or four friends. Some are better than others. Some are closer than others. Guess what? I have lots of friends. I have lots of acquaintances. I have some really special friends. I have one little group of friends. That's, I'm going to say, really, really special to me. We call each other the Yayas. You know what Yayas are? They're sisters, like sisters. My sister from another mister, sister, yayas, look it up, Google it, yayas. They're very special. We get together about once a month and we have fun. 
and we usually wind up spending the night because after about an hour and a half, we shouldn't be driving. That's just the way it is. We follow the rules and we have a lot of fun. My word on friends today is invest in people who invest in you. You know, people who invest in you, that is so, they're so special. They're so special. Especially people who invest in you and they don't, you know, they don't want anything in return, you know, you know, they just, they, they care about you. So invest in people who invest in you. So I'm going to go back. I'm down to number seven. Number seven goes right back up to number one. Okay. Number seven. Don't forget seven. My favorite number is stay positive. Stop. Stay positive. Have a great day.